So before we jump in, I want to say with all my heart, thank you to everyone who's watching, liking, subscribing, and showing support. Like, thank you so much. I'm I'm really trying to stay consistent with these videos, and you know, I'm a I'm a full time teacher. I'm a full time coach. I'm super busy with my girl and my puppy. They take a lot of my time. But uh, the whole point is to share and have fun and help anyone that can use it. So uh, here we go. What's up, everybody? Let's take a look at some imperfections. You're going to find these in your paint job uh, all the time. I mean, it's just kind of what it is. This isn't a $100,000 paint booth. Uh, a lot of you are kind of in the same boat doing the same thing. So let's take a look at how I cut and buff and uh, share with me how you do it. I mean, there's no such thing as a perfect paint job. There's really not. I, you know, I've screwed up so many things and I've had to go back and fix them. And that's just how I learn. I get better. Um, but, you know, it's for me, it's not about competition. It's about collaboration. If you know something, if there's something that I'm really screwing up or I could do better, just let me know. I'm open to accepting your feedback and, you know, let's learn and grow together. That's what it's all about. So let me show you what we're looking at right now. All right, so I'm going to do this to the whole car. I've already done the other rear quarter panel, but if you get up close, you see this here. I don't know what the heck that is. I don't know if my hose rubbed against uh, the car when I was shooting clear or if it was just my shirt when I was trying to lean over and, you know, get in here. I, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to get this kind of stuff out. It's no biggie. If you see it, don't don't panic. Let's do it. All right, so here's what I use. I have these adhesive sanding papers. It's 1500 grit to start, and I do that dry with the DA. That way it just makes quick work of it. Then I come back with some sheets that I'm about to soak in some soapy water, and these are 2000 grit, and I'll do that with the block wet. So let's jump right in, and then we'll get to the polishing after that. All right, so here is... The 1500 grit and they call this PSA for pressure sensitive adhesive because it's not a hook and loop it's just sticky so let me try to do this for you guys it's a good idea not to cut your fingernails before you do up oh, there it goes so get it loaded up And there it is. She's ready. 1500 grit. Don't forget your mask. Air hose. And here we go. Not going to lie. This is one of the most scariest parts of the process because you don't want to like really get in here and burn all the way through. So just be careful. Take your time. I normally turn down the airflow to the tool. Gives me a little bit better control. So here we go. Get my mask on. Keep it flat. All right, let me show you what we got. You want to get it flat? These are areas that still need love. Still needs love. You want to get the, everything as flat as can be for this grit before you come back with your next one. So let me get the whole panel going here. And then I'll show you where we're at. So basically just make your way around nice and easy. Um, man, really just be gentle. <laughs> you got to be gentle. This stuff is scary business. All right. So as you're working, there's a few different ways to check um, your progress. You, I like to just wipe my hand. I'll get you close up here in just a second. I do a quick wipe and I'll see immediately. Okay, I got to still hit that, hit this. I got to do that. You can use air, then a quick wipe, or 
get yourself a rag that you have around, not a dirty one, preferably, and give it a quick wipe. And here's what you're looking at. And this is what you want. You want flat. This is where I still got to go back over it. It's easy to see it. I mean, if you have decent lighting, you're going to see it right away. I don't get close to the edge ever. Why? Because I'm chicken. Man, I am so chicken about burning through on the edges that I just come up as close as I can and then I'll just polish it. It's not worth burning through. And I know some people do it with their finger, 1500 grit on their finger and just kind of, I'm terrified, y'all. I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's worse than turning off the lights and being in pitch black and going into another room where it's pitch black. Was that our first paint booth confession? <laughs> paint booth confessions, part one. I am scared of the dark. Paint booth confession number two. I'm scared of burn through. All right, I'm about to finish this up and I'm gonna polish this little piece out so you see how I do it. So before we get to polishing, I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with 2000 grit. So here I go with my soapy water. You don't need a mask for this because it's not gonna produce any dust. And yeah, just make sure it's straight lines, follow the airflow of the car or just keep it straight lines. So diagonal, front to back, top to bottom kind of deal. But uh, all that white is the clear coat that you are sanding away and let the sandpaper do the work. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel it right away where the sandpaper sanding and where the sandpaper is gliding. When it feels like it's gliding, that's a spot that you've already knocked down. And then you can, of course, stop every so often and check your progress. So yeah, this is where you wanna make sure you have enough clear coat. So I learned my lesson, never less than three coats of clear coat anytime I'm spraying anything. And I am generous on that last coat for this exact reason so I can sand and cut it all right so got everything blocked out with oh it feels very smooth very nice 2500 grit but this little piece right here that's just being a pain in my nalgas i'm gonna go ahead and sand that out with 3000 just to see if it comes out i mean and i'm just gonna go like this. Mm. What a pain in the back. I will go ahead and block this whole thing out. So I load up the pad, dab it around a little bit. Here's the cutting compound that I'm using, Power Cut Plus. Let the polisher polish. Don't put too much pressure. I've screwed up and I've burned through sanding. I, I haven't done it with the pad, thankfully. I just, like I said, let the polisher do the work. Start off super slow. I'm going to, it goes all the way up to a six. I'm going to start off at one and a half or two and then work my way from there. you go working it in a pattern left to right and then up and down across now i got the finishing pad loaded up and i'm going to use ultra finishing polish <clears throat> Man, allergies are trying to win can't let it happen and here is what we're looking at the final result you just gotta lay some wax down and finish so i'm gonna make my way around the rest of the car but we got a whole lot of other stuff coming. We're going to do the 78 tailgate. We're going to start prepping that truck for paint. We're going to deliver the Mustang. We're going to make some tacos. We're going to, we got everything going on. So stay tuned, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to everyone.